Hello again. Okay, so um, I did a live this morning to show you some hemp oil and I've just uploaded the video, did a time lapse of doing this gold leaf for the back of a cabinet. So it's the first time, I've used gold leaf before, but I've not done such a big area and I'm quite pleased how it's turned out. Uh, if anyone's seen the video, I've left these patches. I just did a little, a little base coat. Um, I used the Dixie Bell colour. I can't remember where I've put it now. But it's called Burlap. And it was just so that it had um, a base colour that wasn't going to be... Hi, George. Um, that wasn't going to be so obvious. And it, uh, it'll become clear when I show you what I'm going to do. So, fab gold leaf on the back. Have a check out. If you haven't seen the video, have a check out. It's just a really good, fun time lapse of applying everything and brushing it all off again. And actually, the clear-up wasn't too bad. I usually make a massive mess with gold leaf. It wasn't too bad this time, so I'm quite pleased. So, I was really excited yesterday. Um, I went out in the morning, and when I came back, I had a little parcel um, from Helen at Just Like Home Interiors. She's based in Redcar. I get, um, I get all my redesign products, my transfers and waxes and things. Um, she has moulds as well. I haven't done any moulds yet, but she's brilliant. And I've been desperate for one of these. So because I do transfers quite a lot, in the boxes for the transfers, um, they have a little wooden application tool. But this is their transfer tool for doing more and bigger stuff. And finally, she's got them back in stock. She's got a ton of these. So if you've been waiting for one, get hold of her. It's Helen. There's a team of them, but I deal with Helen at Just Like Home Interiors. She's got loads of stuff. She's brilliant. So explaining the reason I've left these gaps. I've talked about transfers, so it might have been a giveaway. Right. I have chosen to use Imperial Garden. It's really pretty. Tara, hello. How are you? Now, you can't really see it very well on there, but that's the back of the packet. So it's a huge one. It's really big and obviously that's wider than what I've got here. So I'm only going to be using two sheets on this backboard. And then where it folds onto the... Hi Angie! Where it bends onto the bottom of the cabinet, I'm also going to apply the third bottom sheet um, of the transfer onto the bottom. But I haven't even started on the main cabinet bit. I just wanted to... I was so excited about this gold leaf. I just wanted to do this. So... Imperial Garden, that's the transfer, and it's one of their big ones, so this is 44 by 30 inches. I'm sorry. <laughs> Husband just came in to say hello, I had to send him away, sorry guys. So, these are the pieces I've decided to use, and now you can see why I've chosen to do these patches with no gold leaf. I didn't want to waste the gold leaf, and gold leaf where it wasn't going to be seen. It's gold metal leaf. I use the cheap stuff, guys. Um, you can get 24 karat gold. But I don't. And I'm quite pleased how it turns out. So that's the bottom piece. What I have done is just trimmed where these join. So they are going to go like that. Now, these have got backing paper on. If you've ever used transfers before, you want to know how they work. They have a backing paper, so that's the that's the piece I'm transferring, and that's the backing paper to protect. So, first attempt with the tool. I'm going to take that one back up. These big pieces can be really tricky because um, I'm, I, I do a lot where I cut them up and piece them on where I need them. Once they stick down or if they touch the, the backing, you have to be really, really careful. So I'm trying to be really calm and show you without making mess. You see where it comes away? So now you understand where the flowers are and the gold leaf to show through behind it. So, I've got a little bit of a border that I need to keep. And then I think I'm pretty pleased with that placement. So I go over the top like that. Press it down so that you've got a good contact. And then you burnish it with this. It's got two, I don't know what the difference is. I think one's just for, one's got some corners. So if you're trying to do it into trim pieces and corners, I, 
think they're probably just Gemma. Hello, Adam's watching. He's just popped on. Hello again. And that's it, look. So like I said, I tend to do a lot where I cut the, the transfers up. Oh, this is fabulous. Oh, Helen, do they do any more colours? <laughs> I've got no need to buy another one, but I love it already. This is great. But yeah, this makes it so much easier. So I'm sure she, if she sees and she pops on, hi, Gem. Um, if she pops on, I think these are six pounds. And if you're gonna be doing these, investment. I love it already. So there's a really, really subtle um, architectural design in the background of this. And I love it, it's so subtle over the top of the gold leaf. I could have cut round that and just had the flowers, but I decided it would be nice to let it continue over. And I'm really pleased actually. Gold leaf and the transfers need to be top coated. Angie, these are amazing, you need one. And I know there's another lady called Pam that does a lot of transfers. Man, if she hasn't got one, she needs one of these as well. But I happen to know, because I checked with Helen last night, she's got 60 of these bad boys in stock. And she's challenged me to get you to buy them all. <laughs> So let's just see which corner can I start at so you can see. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit more there. So with transfers, they prefer a surface that isn't too shiny. So although this looks shiny, it's actually to feel it's not too bad. So I'm really hoping that this is gonna work. Yeah. And it's the best thing to do is to just be really, you have to be really slow. And if it's not sticking down on any parts, then it's easier to lay it back down and just keep going. Especially on these big ones, the last thing you wanna do. Oh, sorry, Angie, Helen, um, she is at Just Like Home Interiors in Redcar. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, rather than me pretending I know the website address, it's just like home interiors, but I can't remember if it's .co.uk or .com, so I will post a link for you. <gasps> Look, can you see here where the gold is showing through? Oh my goodness, I love it. Now this is, there's quite a lot of detail in this one. The transfers, they've got all sorts. Um, there you go, there's a tiny bit there that's just not come up. That's why we go slow. Just so you know, I'm not entirely sure you can see everything because the comments cover up the video and I'm, I still wanna see your comments. So I'm not gonna swipe across and lose the comments. A little bit there. I mean, can you imagine if you could paint like this, it would still take you so much time. These are so effective. Look a bit on. Just switch ends. Actually, I like that end. It feels more comfortable to hold it. The bigger end. And occasionally you get a stubborn bit, but there we go. A stubborn bit there. So as I said. Helen at Just Like Interior, Just Like Home Interiors, sorry if I missed that off earlier. Just Like Home Interiors. Everything redesigned with Prima. Hi Emma. It's pretty, isn't it? Oh my God. I mean, gold leaf and flowers. Mm. So anyway, anything, everything redesigned with Prima. Helen is your girl.
stubborn bit. It's the edges it's stubborn on. There we go. How's that look? So there you go. That's the start and then I've got another piece to go on the top. Should I do the other piece? It's pretty, isn't it? Go on, I'll do the other piece. I might as well, haven't I? So you've always got to be a bit more, even more careful with the second piece because you've got to line up your design. said there's a little overlap in the middle which I've already trimmed off to make it less obvious I think that is pretty good so I'm going to go for it okay there you go you see how the picture's finished off at the top that detail it's all a bit French and the other part of the uh, transfer has has like a postcard well you can see it Let me show you. see up here it's got post postcard and there's all bits down there on the French writing and stuff so that's um, that's on this piece here that sort of sixth is the part that I'm putting on the bottom of the cabinet I've now currently got my husband staring at me through the window wanting to talk to me. And I've told him he's not allowed to come in and say hello. All right. Hello. Have <laughs> a cup of tea? I've got a cup of tea, thanks. Okay. Thank you for the offer though. <laughs> he's desperate to get in on the act. I keep telling him he should go on and say hello to his customers. I think he will. I think he's going to come on and talk to his customers. Our husband's sort of morning job. Where do you buy the transfer? Um, the transfers come from, I personally get my transfers from Helen, same as um, just like home interiors, um, but it's redesigned with Prima. So I'm in the UK. I'm not sure where, where you're watching from. There's, there's several um, sellers. When I first started doing this, Helen was just the person that had everything in stock that I wanted, and she is fab. She answers all my questions. She's, oh, she works so hard. You're in, ah, uh, you're in America, okay. Um, uh, a lot of sellers sell on Etsy, but if you go on the Redesign with Prima website, there'll be a find your local stockist um, section. Or um, if you paint with Dixie Bell, oh Canada, there you go, Canada, yeah. Um, I know Dixie Bell sells some through their website as well. America. Um, but yeah, there's lots on Etsy and I think some can be got on Amazon as well. Don't quote me on that. it from the other side this time. That's a couple of bits I've missed. Ooh. Hi Michelle. This must be, this is the most people I've ever had actually watching live and I can't believe we've got people in Canada and people in America and people I know over here. Thanks for supporting me guys. Wow. 
Wow. Oh, we've got someone from Australia as well. Wow, hi. Look at that. Oh, I'm really pleased. You know when you kind of have something in your mind, but you never really know how it's going to come out. I love it. Look at that. I'm so pleased. Wow. Yeah, I know. Wow. You know when you've got an idea in your head and it looks great and then you do it and it could go either way. This is way better than I thought, so I'm really pleased. I hope you've enjoyed me showing you um, applying the transfers. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go off camera and then I'm going to seal it. Because it's a relatively shiny surface, I want to get it all sealed um, as soon as possible. But please do visit Helen. I will put the link to her um, online shop. And I'll probably put her Facebook page on as well for you. But if you fancy this or you're looking for certain things, she will do her very best for helping out. Bedford is not sounding so exotic. No. Bromham sounds nice in the Bedford though, Gem. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to sign off. And um, I'm going to try and do this cabinet as a little bit of a project that you can all sort of see as it goes along. But this is the most exciting part that it's going to be. Um, Although I also did get some really bright coloured jewelry waxes that might tie in quite nicely with that, that I might use to highlight some details. I'm not sure yet. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.